after the Longhorns 5-2 loss to Duke on Sunday, Augie Garrido said his team looked like a team that had only been practicing two and a half weeks. Today, they'd be a team who had been practicing two and a half weeks in a day as they play host to UT Arlington in their first Tuesday game of the year. Start second inning, game tied at one. Christian Summers lost one to left. And Jacob Feltz would end up crossing the plate for Texas as the Longhorns would take a 2-1 to one lead. The UTA comes back in a big way. Derek Miller, son of Rangers VP and Round Rock Express exec Jay Miller, hits one of his own to the wall to give the Mavericks a 3-2 lead. And UTA was not done. They would add to it. More Mavericks now. Preston Beck. Hits one over the Wendy's sign, and all Mark Payton can do is stare at it. A two-run shot as the Mavericks go up 5-3. to three. Longhorns score a couple of runs late, but it would not be enough as UTA ends up winning the game tonight 7-5. to five. With three games left on the schedule in the regular season, hitting the panic button may start to look really enticing to Longhorns basketball fans. The team is coming off a five-point loss to Baylor last night at the Irwin Center. Longhorns were up by as many as 12 before the wheels started to fall off late in the second half. Jacobin Brown scored 18 points in the loss, but it wasn't enough as Texas lost their eighth game of the year by six points or less. Head coach Rick Barnes says part of the reason his team can't seem to win a close game is because of the lack of understanding situational basketball. It's tough because, we're, again, you got to see the number. We're right there. And now early I could understand it, some of it. But late, this point in time, again, it, it comes down to at some point in time, if you're going to be a team that really understands winning, you're going to get a stop. You're going to fight to get a stop. And uh, and understand the importance of getting a, st a stop at a certain time, and then on the offensive end, you have to know that okay, we're not going to bail them out. We're going to make them guard us.